Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And I have received the question many times, what is the biggest fish that you've ever caught in Ice Lakes? Well, I think it's usually a toss-up, sometimes between the sturgeon and the barracuda. But for myself personally, it has been the barracuda. Now, I caught a 66-pound so actually it was 66.93 pound barracuda in a tournament quite some while ago and I've been wondering if there's any possibility that I could break that well I don't really want to just go fishing for barracuda I always like to do a little bit of a tournament get some cash while I'm at it so I thought I'd go back to the polar storm which is where I caught my biggest one and I'm gonna go ahead and take part maybe in maybe a, yeah about a 15 minute uh, tournament here but I tell you guys the best time to fish for these things are at night and night you don't get as many bites but when you get them you get big fish all right so what we're going to be going after guys we're going to try to catch the biggest fish out of anybody in 15 minutes so this is gonna be tough if I don't catch anything I'm probably gonna uh, <laughs> not do very well but we're going to be going to the polar storm and this is kind of an interesting lake it's probably would never exist in reality obviously but basically we're going to be fishing off of icebergs for the most part that's the way this thing seems to look but let me go ahead i tell you the tiger best lure you can use But I am headed right over here because this is where... Oh, actually, nope, that's wrong. I have my directions screwed up. There we go. This way. Now let me go ahead and get the look-see here. Yeah, I was right over here. Right here is a great spot because it's just where it starts to get deep. That's where these guys hang out. Where the water drops off into the deep water. Now it doesn't really matter about lures. I usually don't use them for these guys. But I do use the Dotsy hook which is supposed to be good for Barracuda. I've got my heavy Technic, which is even better than the one I used last time. And the Tiger Lure. But this is take this takes patience. And like I said, we only have 15 minutes, so we're not going to get a whole lot. But even one Barracuda could win this, because... If no one else gets one, then we got a good chance. The interesting thing is the last time I fished in here, not only did I catch the huge barracuda, but I also caught one of the biggest bluegill. <laughs> okay, this is starting to get icy again. There we go. Okay, it isn't huge, whatever it is. But it isn't a, it isn't a baby either. Let's see here. Okay, there's a barracuda, but he is a little bit on the small side. 2.91 pounds. So they are definitely here. But we need to find his big brother. 
Otherwise, we're not going to be in this. Yeah, I might move into the... There we go. I was going to say, I might move into the shack. Deal with fishing in there for a while. Because this keeps icing up so much. Oh, wow. A flounder. Yeah, I think I'm going to move here, guys. This is... I mean, I'm not doing too bad, but I could be doing a lot better, honestly. But... Yeah, this is a good spot if there's nobody in it. Yep. just so happens this is in the right locations they seem to strategically have placed these in the right locations but I was going over there because I wanted to see if I could get some of the bigger ones but just keep icing up so much I figured why do all that yeah the thing with barracuda is they like things that are flashy Fast moving and flashy. Yeah, I don't think we got anything really huge this time, guys. Yep, another flounder. come off the bottom a little bit here because we are getting a few too many flounder okay there we go guys okay that is substantial that one this one is substantial Look at that frog bend. Whoa. Yeah, he's pretty good size. I don't know that he's record breaking, but... He's gonna be a hefter, I can tell you that much. Yep, 17 pounds. Not, not too bad. Ah, oh, shoot. I dropped him off to the side somewhere. <laughs> Can't look at him again. That's all right. Now we just upgraded our fish there. Let's see if we can upgrade some more. We've still got a little over four minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, all right. Now, I thought for a minute the way he bit that he was pretty big, but I don't think he's quite as big as the last one. Still a barracuda, but yeah. Not quite as big as the last one. Alright, there we go. Nah, nah. It's a barracuda, but he's not monstrous. No, it's a Xander. Not a bad one either. Not bad at all.
Yeah, yeah, I know. I just want to try one more minute here because we're not that far from the starting gate. Yeah, guys, I think that's it for us, I'm afraid. It's going to be questionable. I don't know. I don't know if we have a big enough fish. 17 pounds isn't bad, but is it a winning fish? That's the question. It looks like I got here a little bit earlier than everybody else. All right, these guys better hurry up. They're going to have missing out. Come on, dude. Oh, he's stuck. He ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it. Oh, he made it. Still won, guys. First place. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 17.41. It didn't come close. 5.23 was the closest. And a bunch of them were disqualified here. <laughs> well, you know, so, so sorry. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.